going on guys welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here welcome make sure you hit that subscribe button down below also share like comment on this video this is a super fun video for you guys this is a haul video that we did and honestly this is something that we haven't done in a super super long time and i'll explain why here in a second so my kids had to go out and grab some stuff for school since they're going back to school very soon and we decided to stop by Ross and Marshall's. Well, if you guys have been following this channel since the beginning, you guys known we've went to Ross and Marshall's a ton and have done really well for retail arbitrage until recently. Until recently, guys, Ross and Marshall's have been completely awful for us. There's been nothing there. There's been some good stuff, but nothing that we can honestly make some money. But this time, there was. Now Ross is still in our area one of the worst there has been really nothing there the prices have been high and the same stuff is there week after week after week and that's normally why we don't go there and honestly with this haul we only found three things at ross but three things i think that can make some money so instead of blabbering on and on about that let's get into these items and show you what we found so one of the things we found at ross was these beyblades here we ended up paying two dollars and 99 cents for these everything i'm going to show you for this retail arbitrage haul was on clearance was even lower than what the original price sticker was so for $2.99 for these these things actually do pretty well in my mind the reason I picked these up Christmas is right around the corner and it's something to think about of stuff you're going to pick up now that could sell in the next couple months for people buying Christmas gifts for friends and family stuff like that so these are really good uh they're still popular so if you happen to see these out pick them up next thing guys we picked up these Marvel Hot Wheel skateboards I think you put these on your finger. I think that's what you do and you kind of do something like that. I'm probably not too coordinated for these, so I'm not going to use them. We're going to sell these. We paid a grand total of $2 each for these. We picked up this one here, which looks like Captain Marvel. Pretty cool there. And then the other one we also got was Ghost Spicer. Spacer? I'm not even sure what it is, but it's that one right there. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so $2 each on those. Those don't do as well, but they will sell. And since they were only two bucks, I was going to pick them up. So on to our Marshall's haul. Well, we ended up going to two Marshall's store for this one. I went by myself to one, and I went with the family to the other one. And honestly, the one that I went by myself, that store did not have much. And they really haven't. But the other store was phenomenal. So I'll show you the little haul compared to both of these. I'll show you what I got. So I was able to pick up two of these baseball gloves. These are kids baseball gloves, uh, Franklin Atlanta Braves gloves. Well, this one doesn't have the baseball in it, but the other one I got does have the baseball in it. So not too bad there. And I picked them up for a grand total of $2, but the tag just flipped over. Grand total of two bucks. Can I get the camera? There we go, $2. Originally $14.99 at Ross. Guess what guys, that's why it was still there. Nobody's gonna pay $14.99 at Ross for these, honestly. And we're in the Pittsburgh area, so people want pirate stuff for the most part. But yeah, I think these are gonna make some great Christmas gifts. I'll list this one for a little bit more than I list this one, only because this one doesn't have the baseball. But this one does. So for $2 each, I wasn't gonna leave them there. I seem to say that a lot. I wasn't gonna leave that there. Oh yeah, if I'm not gonna leave it there, I'm gonna take it home with me, and that's why I'm showing it to you. Yep. So the next thing I found, guys, Disney mini brands. Mini brands are hot. Every year for Christmas, people want these. These are very popular. I actually got some mini brand stuff behind me to sell. Stuff my kids didn't want anymore. Disney Store Edition mini brands. You guys know we love Disney. We just came back. Stay tuned for a video from our vacation. Still working on that edit. But yeah, this one has five minis to unbox. and has two exclusive minis. That might actually be the minis that are at the bottom. I'm not 100% positive. But yeah, we paid $5.99 for this. I expect probably to get about $15 for this plus shipping. It is very light. I'm gonna weigh it right now. It actually only weighs about five ounces. So after I package it up, we're probably looking at about six or seven ounces. So that's gonna be nice and easy to ship. On to our first Marshall store haul. This one just blew it away. I was really shocked on what I found. And I was just super, super excited and just couldn't believe that there was actually stuff there that will actually make some money. So let's get into it. One of the first things we found was this iPad, 10 watt USB power pack. Uh, power adapter. This thing is pretty cool. Uh, this thing we ended up picking up for a grand total of $3. They sell for about 10 to 15 It is open box, but everything is in there. So 3 bucks. this should make a nice Christmas gift. Sticking on the baseball theme, which I showed you some baseball gloves, we picked up this plush of a Texas Rangers baseball jersey. This is from Pegasus Sports. We ended up paying $4 for this. Now, I didn't see any of these listed on eBay, but the Texas Rangers have been playing pretty well this year, so... 
thought this could make a great gift for four bucks. Maybe this is for about ten to twelve dollars. Should not be too hard to ship. It does actually kind of weigh a little bit though, but it actually weighs. And it's gonna probably ship in a pound. So I might not make as much on this, but still a pretty cool item. We also picked up something that we love to sell, uh, and it is cologne, perfume. This is Shy Alfred Sung. I'm probably saying it super wrong. Yeah, but this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. It is open box, but it is brand new and been never used. We paid a grand total of $2 for this. So guys, perfume sells, especially around Christmas time. Actually, perfume sells all year round cologne also so please take a look at it some of the older stuff sells better because guess what you can't buy that stuff in the store so keep your eye out for perfume and cologne you won't be disappointed i know i mentioned this was gonna be a short video and it looks like it's going to be but we have about two more items that i'm going to show you that we found the next thing we found was some candles we found what four different scents we found two of these bitter orange they're agaria i'm probably saying that one wrong too but right there we found the bitter orange candle two of those we found a lemon verbena Probably saying that wrong too. Right there, we found one of those. We found a Riviera pear. You can say that one right there. And then we found two cedar rose ones. I almost dropped it. Might not have felt too good there. But yeah, we picked up all these candles for a grand total of two dollars each. If you guys look these up, they do sell pretty well. They might sell for about twenty dollars each. Candles sell, and I like the small candles because it's a little bit less to ship. Because if you start selling some of the bigger candles, the weight does add up because the glass jar normally is super super heavy so yeah not too shabby for two dollars each so guys last but not least this is one of my favorite items it's a kind of a mix between two items that i like funko pops and disney not too big of a collector of funko pops anymore um i kind of feel like funko pops are going to be like beanie babies that down the road they just made so many of them so i feel like they're just not going to hold their value kind of like beanie babies did but you might as well sell them now while you can these ones are really cool. If you guys watched the previous video, we found the Jurassic Park movie posters. Well, guys, we found some Disney movie posters here. So we found Fantasia. This is a huge box, plastic case in there. You have Mickey the Sorcerer, and you also got this other one in there. So two Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey with the broom. Pretty, pretty cool, and it's a Disney 100th anniversary. We got three of these for a grand total of $14.99 each. You sell anywhere from $60 to $80 on eBay. So really good deal there. They also had some other ones too. They had Pinocchio. They had Snow White. And I also think they had one other one. It might have been. I'm not 100% sure what the other one was. But I looked all those ones up. And those ones did not sell as good as these. And I didn't want to take a chance on those. So we picked up a grand total of those for three of them for $14.99 each. So guys, that was our haul from our Marshalls and Ross trip. Two Marshalls, one Ross. Now might be the time to start checking your stores. They it seems like they might be switching over some of their merchandise for the winter, getting away from some of the summer stuff, so maybe some of the candles, some of the perfume, stuff like that. Also, guys, check the toys there. A lot of times the toys are really good pickups. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, hit that subscribe button down below so you're notified when we post other videos like this in the future. And also comment, like, all that fun stuff and share it. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Bye.